first matchup, guys. We like to do this every Thursday. Let's go with the quarterbacks who do work out and throw on Saturday. All but Sam Darnold, who won't be throwing until mm -hmm. his pro day at USC March 21st. Who will have a better performance, guys? Baker Mayfield mm. or Josh Allen? We're talking strictly on Saturday. Who is going to like this combine up? <laughs> Dion and Don't look Peter at that. and um, Stop looking at Speaking that. of Peter, he's talked about for a long time now that Josh Allen is the pitcher who has that great fastball. Yes. Does he have another pitch? It reminds me of like uh, the wild thing, either Mitch Williams or Ricky Vaughn. Remember yeah. Lou Brown's like, we got to teach this kid some control before he kills somebody. So I'm going to go with Baker, okay? And you also said performance. And I'm going to take every aspect of that word. Baker is a performer. He has that word we love, panage here right here. And he has a lot of doubts, panache. I mean, flamboyance. I think Baker is a more accurate passer and a better performer. I'll go with Mayfield, Burleson. Yeah. And I like that. You're talking about performance and on the big stages with the bright Highlights there, Baker Mayfield showed up, and I'm looking at the Heisman QBs and if they threw or not. Marcus Mariota, he did throw. James Wilson did. Johnny Manziel, Robert Griffin, they did not throw. Cam Newton, he decided to throw. Okay. Sam Bradford, Tim Tebow. So the reason I said that is because the guys that decided to throw were the guys with the big arms. Mariota, Winston, Newton. They wanted to go out there and say, listen, I won the Heisman, but uh, 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 you haven't mm -hmm. seen everything that I got. So he's going to go out there and light it up. Listen, even though it's just the combine, for the Combine, being that it's the situation, it's the big city, the bright lights, and it's all the coaches watching, this is just as big as any stage has ever been on, and Baker shows up big when the bright lights are on. Two votes for Baker, because I think you both know Shregs is going to go the other way, right, Peter? No, Kay. I'm oh. going with Baker Mayfield as well. I think Baker Mayfield is the most accurate passer from college football last season. He completed 71% of his passes, which is just insane. He had 43 touchdowns, six interceptions. And these drills really do lend themselves to accuracy. It's hitting all these different spots on the short route, the medium route, and then the long route. To me, what Allen has, which I'm so excited for, is probably going to be showcased at his pro day. If you remember last year, Patrick Mahomes at the end of his pro day was basically like, all right, let me give you one last drop of the mic moment. I'm going to throw the ball 100 yards. And he basically threw it 80 yards and left all the scouts drooling. Wow. That is when I think Josh Allen is going to have his best day, just throwing the ball as far as he can and showing that fastball. But as far as these drills go, Baker Mayfield's going to put on a show on Saturday. Nobody is more precise. Nobody is more accurate. The problem is he's six feet tall, and he can't change that on Saturday afternoon. Mm, that 56% completion percentage for Josh Allen is sort of haunting him and is a mm. cloud over his, hell, I over his head. I would hope that he uses this as an opportunity to improve upon that. Uh, but I kind of feel bad. Who's catching these rocks from him? I don't know. It's a good point. I feel like it's a little bit of a – I keep hearing about this fastball. Like, it seems like a punishment to have to go out there and be like, all right, throw it to me. Ow. Yeah, I hope they got Yadi Molina out there because that thing's coming <laughs> hot. Yadi Molina. Right. I love that. Yadi. <laughs>